What's going on, everybody? You already know, this is Jay Mancini. We keep the wheels rolling and the cash flowing. Hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to do this video to show you what we got going on on this project. For those that don't know what asphalt milling is, watch the video, guys. We're gonna show you what asphalt milling is, but real quickly, I wanna show you what we got going on here. So usually when you do asphalt milling, they're gonna mill in layers. So you'll see here, this is the top of the road. This is the asphalt road that you would see your everyday driver driving over, right? And then when you mill and you have a milling machine milling the asphalt, usually what they do is they'll do it in layers. So on this particular project, the first layer you see here is four inches. You'll see a drop from the top to the bottom here to the second layer. That's a four inch layer. They milled four inches of the top of the actual road. Now, if you look down here, you'll see another layer, okay? This is where they've actually milled another six inches. So now you have a total of six and four. That's 10 inches between two layers of asphalt milling. All right, guys, so now I wanna show you another part of the milling. This is actually the base. So they've already milled the asphalt. 10 inches combined and now you see another layer at the bottom of it this is called the base the base material okay this goes underneath the actual asphalt so as you can tell here they've actually milled this already we're actually already starting to haul this haul it away right and take it to the plant so this is actually a total of 12 inches one foot to get to the bottom and if you look at the bottom here the very, the very bottom of it is the actual dirt. This is where you actually hit the natural ground, which is dirt. So we got the dirt at the very bottom. We have the base, that's a whole foot, 12 inches. And then you see the asphalt milling at the top. So total combined, we got 10 inches of asphalt, 12 inches of base till we get to the bottom, to the soil. So with that being said, I hope you found this video valuable and check us out while we haul this milling in this base. what's going on everyone you already know what we're doing today we're milling and guys as i was talking about milling i wanted to show you what a stockpile of asphalt millings looks like just to kind of give you an idea up close in person this is what asphalt millings look like so if you're not in the dump truck business and you're learning about the dump truck business and you're learning about milling as we've been talking about today this is what asphalt millings look like now wanted to dive in a little deeper about asphalt millings and just let you know a little bit more about it. So asphalt millings, as you notice, we're milling the road and once they get stockpiled, usually they come to a place like this where it gets recycled. And what I mean by a place like this, I'm talking about an asphalt plant or just a plant in general where they recycle the material. Once it gets recycled, you know what that means? It gets reused and they're able to sell it again and they're able to go ahead and convert it into asphalt and lay it back down. So that is the beauty of asphalt in general, okay? And asphalt millings, just like gravel or broken concrete, same exact concept, right? When you're hauling demo, hauling broken concrete, you take it back to the crusher, the plant, right? That is actually gonna recycle that concrete. And then they do the same thing as asphalt millings. They'll reuse it, right? And they'll be able to sell it back again and use it for other purposes, you know? So. Same thing here with the asphalt millings. Now, one thing I wanted to also point out to you guys, if you don't recycle the asphalt millings, you can use them as is. I'll tell you a few things that they're really good for, okay? Asphalt millings, just as is, is what you see right now, are great for those that have an unpaved surface or unpaved road. I've seen a lot of people, you know, that they want it for their driveways, meaning if they want a more cost-efficient way instead of pouring concrete or on their driveway and it's an unpaved road or what they do is they'll go ahead and they'll just lay down some kind of base material and then they'll bring asphalt millings like the ones you see here you lay that on top and now you have a stable driveway for your property all right guys so another thing that the asphalt millings is also really good for just like your driveway guy, you can actually do this for a road. So what I mean for a road is a lot of the people that own a farm or ranch, okay, they'll lay this asphalt millings all the way down and they can make a road out of asphalt millings. So one thing I encourage is first put a good base material underneath it, compact it, then you put your asphalt millings on top and you already know you're good to go. 
All right, guys, you already know, this is Jay Mancini. We keep the wheels rolling and the cash flowing, and we'll see you on the next one.